Hi everybody, this is my first spoken video, so take it easy on me. I hope you enjoy it. I would like to talk today about galvanic corrosion, in particular uh, considering carbon composites uh, paired together with um, metals. So uh, you see here actually three levers, maybe you have been watching my other videos uh, about uh, lever brake testing so you see here three levels levers uh, the last two are the ones that I produced today and yesterday and we have another one which is from my uh, brake test so the the one on the back so why is galvanic corrosion so important always when you pair two different conductors uh, you end up making a small battery so actually there is current flowing from one conductor to the other this is actually how, how batteries work and more or less uh, when you have carbon like here uh, and you pair it together with a metal like um, like steel or maybe aluminum uh, you end up making a small battery and current flows and corrodes the uh, metal but also also the composite so you want to avoid this uh, at any price um, so just to show you maybe if we take the, the, the uh, latter one the one on the back um, this was this was a lever for a brake test so actually I just put in the bearings without any kind of protection so you have here the carbon the carbon body and the metal bearings and if you take a usual usual voltmeter you can show that carbon is is conductive so just to give you an idea this uh, voltmeter and if if it conducts it beeps so um, if you take the carbon you can show it's it's conductive and now if you go and, and um, put one of the pins into into carbon and into the uh, into the bearings you will you will hear that it is connected so actually these two a current can flow between these two so everything here is interconnected even if you take one bearing and the other this means that you have direct contact between carbon and and the bearings, the steel bearings, which means that uh, maybe in a couple of, of years or, or, or shorter or longer, um, you might end having having corrosion uh, at these pieces. So uh, the new, the new, the other two two levers uh, are actually the final levers. I I would like to. To use in my airplane, so in this two I used a very thin, a very thin sheet of um, of glass fiber. So carbon carbon is is conductive, but glass fiber and epoxy is, are not. So they are quite good isolators. So maybe you have seen that the PCB boards they are. They are nothing else than than, carb uh, than uh, glass fiber and uh, epoxy. So I, I made a very thin sheet and uh, um, installed it here between bearing, bearing and uh, the piece, the carbon piece, to isolate, to prevent that these two conductors uh, touch it, each other. So just to go to show you, uh, you will see that. Again, the carbon is the carbon is is conductive, but now uh, you can see that that the pieces are not touching the carbon. So it's not you cannot you don't have a current flowing from carbon to to the uh, to the bearings, which means that this piece will not suffer from. Uh, Galvanic, cor uh, galvanic corrosion 
So that's uh, what I wanted to show you today. Thank you.